If you hear me! Kendrick! Kendrick! You there? Not so loud. Ah! Oh, God, scared me off to... Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F Foglets? Oh, sweet mother, my little Why don't I ever come here? Good question. What are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought man has been empty all these years, full of fine things, going to rot. Mm hmm. So you're a thief. Thief steal from the living. W what's the arm taking from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Then nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but. What's that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You? I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Fresh manure. What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. A busted lamp, and the ground's trampled. Somebody dragged something this way. A body? Someone dragged a wounded man through here. I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. Graves, unmarked, laid out in rows, like garden beds. Hey. Hear me? Thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you?
the fuck was that? No eyes or nostrils, deformed organs. Damn thing had no right to be alive. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgird von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady Von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgir gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. Lovely couple. Thief! to see her. Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, 
lay down here and died from grief, from loneliness. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. at the table. seems suitable yes she loved to paint did iris von everick have any last requests say how she wanted her remains disposed of she feared death worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting guess i'll be the one to do that I didn't know Iris von Everick, but the paintings here show amply that she and Olgird were a loving couple. Iris must have been happy, once. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear. Yet all deserve respite and peace in death. I don't know if you want to be buried with a painting of your husband, but you live together, so maybe you want to be with him in death as well. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. What is this place?
The Painted World. The work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. in mid-motion. One of her memories. It is blurred, incomplete. You must restore it. Mind cap, just like the one Olgird's holding. Perfect match. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but I know this sounds silly. Yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My knight, you've seen to everything. Crystallized, one you must now face. Another dream of the past, but this one's incomplete too. in the painting. My darling, is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you, except 
Why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long rocket journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll. Ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Oh, okay. kid. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? Come on, come close. Again. Don't like this place. The bedchamber. Towel stained with blood. It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. Another blurred memory. rinsed it. Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Fits, I think. This goes here. Maybe on this side. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this. You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please? Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I've a bit of work I should say to. Again? Olgird, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. Olgird. All geared. Yeah. I like that silver. <laughs> 
Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. The gates of mystery, blood between worlds, some kind of magic I bet an occultist. Blood packs, or on foreign presences. Hmm, a tome about parleying with demons. Pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Minds aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them, then I can set out the candles. These wax candles. Chalk. <sighs> Black magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. How about this? Come back! We must talk! Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. What other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon it! That's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and... Get to the point, Father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me, till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The Olgird I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. 
You shall stay here. Forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Father! Father! No! Servants, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. I remember. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places. The same as then. You do the rest. Small bowl. For soup, maybe? There we go. Animal hair. Think this was yours. Single play setting. No others on the table. Claw scratches. A platter. Hmm. Perfect match. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you. Care for the house. No matter what happens. Before I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours, I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Ogird. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Dearest wife, letters from Old Geard to Iris, where I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you wither. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Old Geard.
You're not him. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. And I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the painting on my grave, I remembered the day of my marriage. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Your husband. Hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate. Because at heart, he's unhappy. At heart, he is stone. So nothing has changed. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much. But I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest. If I take the rose, you might cease to exist. As might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... there is nothing at all. I need the rose. 
Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the battle edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Orgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell. Two pints, and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draught. Geralt, over here. Oi, wait a looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey, now. Don't make me beg. More treats! Show off. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. So, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. Who are you, really? Gaunter O'Dim. Also known... Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grant their wishes. And drop them in a world of hurt. No, not I. That would be their poorly formulated wishes. I'm no cheat. I give folk what they want, nothing more. That the oft desire unworthy things, that is entirely the fault of their rotten natures. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes. No, Geralt. You don't. This one time I shall spare you and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead 
or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with Olgird. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw Olgir to the Temple of Lilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well, and once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. What the devil? Why is there a fly in my suit? I was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? I'm a witcher. Superhuman quickness. Just one of my many qualities. You toss this fly in my suit? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. Ah! What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple. Got it? Aye. Got it. Hold that! Your friend, the medic. She were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. Did you see? The bloke literally <coughs> dropped dead. He was there, alive, I'm on the boat. Maybe he fainted. Fainted? <laughs> no wonder. What's an oddity like that doing here? 